let's talk about this very important relationship between your brain and your gut. Okay? It's bidirectional. In other words, there's nerve signals that go from your gut to your brain and back down from your brain to your gut. I've done a lot of videos on the autonomic nervous system, and I usually talk about the sympathetic nervous system, which is the flight or fight, and the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. Okay? Now, the vagus nerve that comes from your brainstem down into the gut is all parasympathetic. But there's a third part of the autonomic nervous system that I rarely talk about, and that is called the enteric nervous system. There are more nerves in the enteric nervous system than there are in your spinal cord. And so if there's anything going wrong in your gut, signals are sent up to the brain and can directly cause anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, any altered emotional state. That's the importance of having a healthy gut. Now on the flip side, if there's anything going on in the brain as far as stress, that can cause physical problems in your gut, like being nauseated, having heartburn. Stress that originates in your brain can literally cause you to have an ulcer. You can get diarrhea, constipation, and even cramps in your gut if you are stressed. So the enteric nervous system also has about 30 neurotransmitters that it works with. 90% of serotonin is made by your gut. And this is why a very common symptom for an SSRI, which basically allows serotonin to be reuptake, so it increases the amount of serotonin in the attempts of reducing depression. But the biggest side effect is GI problems. Now you know why. So the microbiome is so vitally important for mental health. 21% of people with irritable bowel disease have depression. And there's been some real interesting studies on significant improvement in mood just by taking a simple probiotic. And the importance of eating certain, not just uh, probiotics, but prebiotics, which is the fiber, like cabbage, like vegetables that actually feed the microbes and that then help the diversity of your microbiome. So it's important to consume things like sauerkraut, kimchi, apple cider vinegar could help, and occasionally even some kefir but you have to watch the carbs. And also some people are allergic to dairy. So that might be an option for some people, but not others. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you really are interested in a very uh, unique probiotic, I put a link down below, check it out. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before